The government says that it's been careful not to interfere too much in the relationship between landlords and tenants. But if nothing is done, Second Minister for Finance Indrani Raja has told CNA 938 that tenants might not be able to pay rent and that impacts on landlords. A new bill is to be introduced next week requiring landlords to grant rental waivers for eligible tenants. This next step is to see for those who are tenants who are really suffering very badly and where some landlords have not passed on the property tax or done something to assist, how we can share amongst government, tenant, as well as landlord, um, the, 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 the burden, if you like, uh, of the rental payment. On jobs, Ms Indrani says it's not realistic to expect salaries to stay the same for the short term. But the governments are leaving no stone unturned to keep people employed. She says the 40,000 jobs that will be created under a $2 billion package from the Fortitude budget are on top of those from growing sectors. We're going to see a lot of growth um, in, the, in the science, tech, IT and cybersecurity side as well. We're also hearing uh, that for the infrastructure space, uh, there is still potential for growth and demand. And as digitalization ramps up, Ms Indrani says that some, like the social services sector, still need the human touch, even as they try to get clients on board with technology. We'll have to see how devices can be provided, because without device, obviously, you can't you know, keep connected uh, online. Second, we have to look at Wi-Fi or, or data because you may have a device, but if you can't connect to the internet, that would be a, a problem. And then the third part is really about teaching how to, how to use it.